and welcome back to Sonic Frontiers with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy Poogie. So, today we will um, maybe do some more exploration. And I'm still here by the annoying Tetris puzzle. Yep, we have to do it in a certain order, as you can see. So, let's see, I'm going to siloop the black block first. Have that come down? Seriously, it's, we're literally playing Tetris here. And then Siloop the purple one, that will come down next. Uh, okay, so far so good. Next Siloop the uh, light blue one there. And that will come down there. And that's all you have to do actually to do that puzzle, seriously. Very interesting how they replicate Tetris with this game though. Um, so that being said, uh, that's um, probably for the first time since maybe Final Fantasy X. Though maybe not. Certainly on, in a game I played anyway. Um, yeah, they did do it in Final Fantasy X. Inside the Xanak and uh, Cloister of Trials. Anyway, that being said, let's go through here and uh, get some more rings, absolutely. And what else? Well, I actually made it to get another one. Another uh, thing. And it's another um, use your parry one. In this case, we have to deflect three blasts this time, so yeah. And just remember that Sonic's parry, you'll have to hold down the, um, both the shoulder buttons on, certainly on the um, DualSense controller or DualShock, yeah, DualShock 4 controller, if you're playing on the PS4. Um, I'm not sure about the uh, Switch version, seriously I'm not. Anyway, that being said, I'm gonna go over here and uh, so I loop this, and let's see what we get. A dash pad, okay, where's this take us? Seemingly up, the, thing up to another grinding section. As I say, and look how great this island is as well, compared to thing, uh, especially compared to uh, the last two islands, which were like pure sunlight. We, and it even starts raining here, seriously. We didn't get much... Actually, no, we did get some on uh, Kronos Island, I will say that. But, um, yeah. It's even more given the great atmosphere around Chaos Islands. So, uh, that being said, I did a weird side loop there. Okay, where does this take us? Again, just up to another climbing thing. Okay, well, um... I say we go for a bit of a run. Shall we? Um... If the Coco would stop seemingly partying, even though they have the, um... I don't know. I don't know even how to say the Coco with their party has, because I still have some of the uh, DLC in it enabled for the uh, anniversary. Uh, granted, it's not all there, but it is for the other character. Well, for Sonic anyway, but for seemingly for the other characters, such as... The Coco, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy, it is. But never mind. Well, we even get another. I think that's the same Elder Coco I spoke to last time, actually. So I don't know if I want to do that. I'll ignore the Elder Coco and uh, instead go up this way. There's still the pop up is going to be annoying here. And oh boy. Yeah. I don't think I can climb up there. No, I don't. So instead, I'm just going to use the tried and true method of exploration. Why not? Even if this game is glitchy as hell, at least it's more playable than Sonic Forces was. Not least because um, it's open world and everything. Anyway, like, that being said, you can actually see in the distance where it is, and for a second there, the. Um, the ash seemingly from the volcano is gone. So yeah, um, that's very interesting at least. Which also means it's gonna get dark very soon, so yeah. Um, other than that, some more of these, and be careful, the, uh, I think the, the thing actually turns, um, I didn't mean to use the Sonic Boom attack against a rather relatively weak enemy compared to what I'm usually used to. But, um, yeah, I will say I will go this way and get ricocheted off some by some springs. 
This is what I meant in the last episode when um, I said that some of the enemies will push you back, or some of these things, not the enemies, but the, the, the obstacles, seriously, very annoying here. Although maybe in this case it was supposed to that you go the other way, but oh, damn it, I want to go this way. And why am I going one way? I thought I was going towards the way. I'm, yeah, I'm just making an ass of myself now. And is there nothing but... Well, yes, there is on the left-hand side, there is. Okay, well, I'm not going to try and homie attack that spring. Instead, I'm trying to go and lose my rings. Yay. Um, is there anything, any way of getting up there? No. Then just keep going until you reach the thing. And it's right on top of the mobile base. Actually, no, it's not a mobile base, so yeah, but never mind. Um, let's see what I can do here. I hope I can drop all this cyber energy once everyone's safe. I'm not... You're not feeling too great, Sonic? Well, uh, that's what happens when you keep trying to save your friends. In this game, it costs you your... Well, in this case, I'll call it cyber sickness, even though... Um, um, there I see it's... Um, Sage calls it cyber corruption, and indeed it does play a heavy part on the next island. I won't say any more than that, though. But uh, that being said, let's see. I can go up here at least and see where this takes me. Seemingly the way I came, given uh, what I'm doing here. We do some more puzzles. In this case, it's another of these light block puzzles. Uh, which way should I go here? Well, uh, there's one on the lower left that's gonna give me hell later. And I'm going, still going the wrong way about it because, yeah, that will not work at all. No, it won't, because there's a huge gap between those two. So, let's see. And I could go. I could have done the ones on the right there, seriously, and then done the ones down there. I'm, I'm unsure though. Again, this, 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 I will say this, this game is very generous with the uh, time limit. You are given like 119 seconds, which is quite charitable, and all things considered. Uh, but yeah, no, that's not good. No, I'm not gonna do it, am I? No, I am not. I'm, now I am going over to the right hand side, but no, that still is missing that one, seriously. I guess I'll have to go all the way back that way, which is not great at all, seriously. So I've got the right hand side right there, ironically. Um, but yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Which is very much a pain in the ass, so uh, never mind. Let's do it properly, shall we? So, uh, go down, and I want to go that way, absolutely. Be mindful of the one down the bottom right-hand corner there. So, there's only one way I can go, and that's to the right there. And then go around that side, and then turn left here, and then take out the rest of the three, and then we're done. Yeah, finally I got it right. Told you I wasn't good at puzzles. But never mind that. We also have yet another note here. Around the same area, actually. I don't know if I will go for that, but I think I will. Because I probably did see it on the map. So zoom in and, yeah. Right next to those seemingly ruins, which has the seem uh, also has tail symbol. The, which, believe it or not, is the, the weapon he actually uses here. Yeah. He actually does not uh, Tails use the thing, but I don't think we'll see that until Final Horizon, so yeah. What's all these green, um, those of motion, oh, ma can't even speak now. Um, boss, that's it. You, you begin with an M. Um, um, don't make Sonic slip up at least, which they probably would do in real life if Sonic were real and Hello, Portal Gear! Um, anyway, that being said, uh, we'll see where I can go next. There is seemingly another puzzle over there. And yes, I, I probably will try and find the thing. There was already one in the immediate vicinity um, in this area, so yeah. 
Also, Tails is there. Do I have enough uh, tokens? It looks like I do, then. That's good. just had my body, I could be so much more efficient. Amy said she felt like she was in a dream. Does that sound about right? That's pretty accurate. I can think clearly, and I'm aware. But there's no physicality to it. Everything feels just out of reach. Uh, do you think that's why the ancients made the cocoa? To have something real to put their spirits into? It's one hypothesis. We certainly can't rule it out. Okay, well, I'm gonna go straight to the, um, next, uh, portal. In fact, I think this is the first one I actually visit on Chaos Island. So, yeah, and it's another Green Hill-themed level. But, um, let's see what this one pans out to be. Because, um, some of them might well be a bit different, if you know what I mean. But, uh, we might as well have a look. Although we do have to still stomach the uh, training montage, which isn't a bad thing. I, I don't mind the training montage. That being said, um, let's actually go on to the actual level there and, and see what's in it. You know what I mean? If I can get it up. There we go. And indeed, um, we get some nice boosting here. Just to start off with, in fact, this is actually Act 1 from Sonic Generations of Green Hill, so yeah. Oh, he's borrowing heavily from him. What the hell there? Apparently the, uh, the, the uh, slopes have gone, which was not featuring Generations, I'll say that! <laughs> but uh, yeah, you'll have to be careful on your turns. Seriously, no. Yeah, drifting is not a thing in um, in Sonic Frontiers, it seems, because of how the um, controls are compared to, as I say, Frontiers. Not Frontiers, they're Generations. Then again, we didn't have it in Forces either, so yeah. And then, somewhat we get a, a new bit that was not in uh, um, the Generations, and then it turns into Green Forest. Seriously. The only thing missing is, of course, the kick-ass music there. No. Uh, which is a shame, because I, I do have it now in my head. But never mind, uh, we'll go on. Seriously, I would have wanted to go that way. And yeah, I am just getting the um, red rings, I'll give it that. But I don't think some walls in great either. Seriously. Uh, as I say, never mind. Okay, the game is just laying out the red, the first three red rings for me. So I don't think the last two will be easy to get either. Let's see if I'm right. Nope, that one was directly above a spring! All I needed to do was a homie attack it there, seriously. Um, but uh, that being said, Let's go further in and, um... I don't know what that was, a snail bed, Nick? Okay, th that's definitely a uh, green forest, then. Yeah, from Sonic Adventure 2. Especially the, uh, homing attack, which, to be honest, was uh, executed a lot better in Sonic Adventure 2. We'll say that, although I do thank the game for implementing the grind rails, which were in the... And yeah, it even has the crumbling platforms at the very end of the stage, seriously. And there we go. Uh, I don't know if that was tight, but it was the best I could do. Okay, it, it would have been a, a big A rank on the thing, as Sonic would say that was tight. Anyway, that being said, I will see you on the next one. Goodbye!